forested watersheds are the source of pure quality water for our drinking and for fishing and for so forth. Because of urban sprawl, there's a lot of pressure that's put on waterways. And the whole idea of properly managing a forested watershed is to show that you can manage a watershed and maintain a high level of water quality for the citizens and for the aquatic life. The Frederick City watershed is about 7,000 acres in size. There has been an approved forest management plan. One of the components of that plan is the harvesting of a renewable resource, that's trees, to try to you know, manage the forest for overall health, to improve wildlife habitat, improve tree vigor and so forth, as well as to generate a little revenue. The first harvest that the city of Frederick has had in, in many, many years. Uh, it's, it's a couple hundred thousand board feet, it only brought in $22,000, but that money, that revenue will pay for the management of that forest for an entire year. This shows that a watershed can provide quality water, can provide recreation, as well as some limited timber harvesting. The common sense of the Backyard Buffer Program is undeniable. It provides some free seedlings to people who have wet areas and streams and just small areas that need some buffering and we give them those trees and we talk to them about how to plant them and they go home and plant them and every little buffer helps to improve water quality that much more. They trap sediments, they capture nutrients before they leach into the water, they provide shade, wildlife habitat, etc. So every little bit helps. If you look at the size of the property, even cutting it with a tractor, it's, it's too much cutting. We wanted to do something to minimize the cutting of the lawn. Minimize our workload, improve the environment. We took a green gardening class, that's where it all started, and just wanted to decrease our carbon imprint. And, and uh, we had 250 trees to plant and then wound up, they had a little few extras when they came and mm -hmm. we wound up planting 260, but they dug it, planted it, put the, the covers on it to protect it from the deer. And taught and, us. And taught, and taught us, us how, yeah, how to maintain it, yeah. Our grandson, when he comes here, that's all he wants to do, go in the woods. Now he's in, in among the trees, and it just and plus the vegetable garden, mm -hmm. the flower. And it, I guess we're giving him a little bit of insight on how nature's, you know, just enjoy nature. And that's what, you know, we can sit back now and smile and think it's great. Yeah, well, a part of the time. <laughs> <laughs> we can sit yeah. back. <laughs> And you become one. <laughs> so n now it's like um, in our dotage here, we're giving birth again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like the poem, there's nothing is more beautiful than a tree. I mean, yeah. They're just beaming uh, examples of, of what we strive for in, in stewardship ethic. And I think in Stan and Donna Mashakas, in their small property and what they've done from the stewardship standpoint, on their little couple of acres there, uh, kind of embodies uh, the ethic that will ultimately, I believe, save the Chesapeake Bay. If we could just compound that and, and, and reproduce that and, uh, you know, and spread that throughout the land, I think uh, the bay and the state and this country would be a, a, a far better place for it.